stand up stand over up here. here. Okay. Um, I just want to add for everyone on this subject. It's, uh, I, I see everybody trying to think... They're trying to make their sexual projection out to be all innocent. Yeah. Um, as if it's like some kind of innocent behaviour of a bystander when it's actually almost a rape of another person or or a desire to sexually engage with another person at least. And, and most of the time it's about power. Mm -hmm. so, so the reality is the addiction of sexual projection most of the time covers other addictions of wanting power and wanting control mm -hmm. and wanting to abuse another person and wanting to make the other person feel lesser than yourself or, or wanting to use them for your own sexual gratification or... And there's quite a lot in there that we're missing out in all of this discussion, I feel, because most of us want to believe that we're nice and innocent and actually we have better... We have, a, we have nicer... We're nicer than that. That's yeah. what we'd like to believe. Now, of course, and many of the spirits, by the time... Once they pass, they don't care about how nice they look anymore because they know they look terrible when they're in this... When a person sexually projects all the time, they're basically having sex with all sorts and sundry, which means that they're... they're their soul condition is very, very low. And so when they pass in the spirit world, they look very ugly. So they don't care about how they look anymore. They just want the feeling. And so all they do is, like, it's all about the feeling then for them. And, and I feel that for a lot of us on Earth, it's all about the feeling yeah. as, as well. It's all about the feeling. It's not, it's not that we've got some innocent emotion like, Daddy didn't love me, so this is why I sexually project a lot of the times. It, you know, there's plenty of people on earth whose daddies didn't love them and they don't sexually project. Exactly. So, so like, this is all about our abuse of sexual energy in order to have both sexual and other addictions met. And, and we need to be a lot more, I feel, a lot more firmer about the discussion. I know some people feel a bit embarrassed about it and they get a bit, you know, laugh a bit about it, but in my opinion, it's such a huge issue the sexual part of you is a huge issue and when it's used out of control or out of, out of, out of harmony with the way God designed it to be, out of harmony with love, it does huge amounts of damage. Like, mm -hmm. like one third of the women on this planet generally are either abused or raped in the, in the course of their lifetime. That's huge amounts of damage being done and then if you add that to the spirit damage that's being done and then there's the, the damage that's done intergender, back and forward between the genders, Basically, and, and, and when you add that to the fact that all the sexual energy you absorb is like the part of the other person entering you. Mm -hmm. and, and when you give out sexual energy, you're entering the other person. And if you add all of that together, you start considering all of that. It's a, hu it's a huge issue that um, is not just about, but it is a lot about desire for sex, desire for sexual power, desire for sexual control, sexual rage fear sexually, it's like, and all of those issues yeah. are all part of it, but, but we're not as innocent as we believe we are most no. of the time when it comes to doing it. Yeah, and usually by the time we get to projecting it outwards, there is a lot of, that's a, an intentional thing, isn't it, where we are saying, I want like power control, or I'm so angry at your agenda, I'm going to, I don't, you, that, you mean that little to me, that or, or you just... just or even just simple, I want to rape you, but I'm not going to go and do it because I'll get put in jail. So what I'll do instead is do it energetically. Mm. <laughs> you know, that's often... Or, or if you're a woman, oh, yeah, I'll, I'd like to have sex with you, but of course I'm not going to do it, you know, be the first one to do it. So I'm going to, you know, first project out all of this stuff that you can do it for me and with me so that I don't have to feel <laughs> like I'm a bad girl when yes. you want to have sex with me. And also sometimes... You want, if you're a woman, many times you want a guy to feel sexually interested in you just so that you can reject him. Yeah. <laughs> just so that you can make him feel terrible about himself, even desiring you. Like, and so there's a lot of very dark emotions involved in this addiction of sexual projection. And we need to be very much more honest about you know, our true desire to do it rather than go, oh, it's all something to do with some grief you know, related to some belief system from our childhood. It's not often the belief that's underneath. Remember, the addiction covers the belief. So for most of us, the sexual projection is an addiction. It's not the belief. Right? Yes, so, so, definitely. So it, the sexual addiction is a choice. It's a choice you made. And many of us made it very young, but, it's, but, but, but we continue to make it as adults all the time. It's a choice we are making. 
to harm another person through our sexual energy. Yeah. Thanks, babe. Thank you. Knife of truth. <laughs> <laughs>